Hello and welcome to the Timberland Investor. Today I want to talk about whether or not timber harvest can actually benefit your forest. When a lot of landowners think of timber harvesting, their primary motivation might be financial, you know, getting the money from a stumpage contract. But in fact, uh, harvest can actually be extremely beneficial to the growth of the forest itself. And uh, to prove that, I wanted to take a look at this parcel of land here, which was harvested from my estimation about 15 years ago. So to show you the evidence of harvest, over here, kind of behind me, behind this maple here, uh, you can see an open area that was used as a skid trail. And on the other side of where we were just shooting, we can see numerous stumps here. Yellow birch, some spruce, maybe a little bit of fir that was harvested during the last harvest. So this area was greatly affected by that harvest, and uh, I wanted to check the surrounding trees to see if we could see a tangible benefit. Now in particular, I really wanted to measure the growth rate. Because this area in particular was opened up quite a bit, I wanted to check the, uh, the growth rates of the residual timber to see if you could see that effect in the growth rings. And to do that, we're going to be using an instrument called an increment borer. Now what this increment borer is going to do is it's going to allow us to actually take a core sample of the tree with this, uh, this fancy screw right here, auger rather, whatever you want to call it, and we're going to fit it into this handle and we're going to be able to drill into the tree, take a core sample, and then use this mechanism to pull it out and count the rings. So let's try it on this balsam fir right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this into the tree and begin turning as it cuts out that core. And if you're wondering if it harms the tree, uh, the answer is uh, a little bit, but if you're just making a single hole, and especially if it's in um, a non-quality oriented saw timber like uh, spruce or fir, it's really not going to make that big of an impact. However, I wouldn't do this to a veneer quality sugar maple or something like that. Uh, so let's begin. Might take a second to get started here. You kind of got to push. It's almost like uh, turning a screw with a screwdriver. You want to aim for the pith, which is the center of the stem. And you just turn. All right, now let's pull out that core. Ah, beautiful. All right, so this is, this is really cool. So first of all, this is the core sample as you would uh, retrieve from one of these increment bores. And you can very clearly see the rings of this balsam fir. Now other species won't show up this clearly, but the balsam fir does it pretty well, which is one of the reasons why I chose this particular species. But anyway, uh, I had given the figure earlier of a harvest occurring 15 years ago. And I actually estimated that figure from analyzing Google Earth imagery, and I figured that that was about when the harvest occurred. And looking at the growth rings of this tree, uh, it would seem to corroborate that estimate. So I had put this twig here at about the 15 year mark. So 15 years ago is uh, where this twig would be. And you can actually see, you might have to look closely or look at full screen, but you can actually see the difference in the tree rings. Uh, prior to that harvest, you were maybe getting about, I don't know, an eighth of an inch per year uh, radially in the growth rings. And then once you had that harvest, it took maybe a year, two years to respond, but you started to see substantial gains in the uh, radial increment of that tree. Twice as much per, for at least three years in a row. It was twice as much as it was previously. And then after that, maybe five years after harvest, it starts to, you know, slow down again. But here's what we have to remember about tree rings. Um, the increment down here is not the same volume as the equivalent increment up here. Now, what do I mean by that? All right, so if you imagine you had a four inch diameter tree that was putting on an eighth of an inch every year. Um, imagine you unwound that particular tree ring and you wrapped it around and you created a little circle. All right, so on a four inch tree, uh, you might get that much wood. So like every year it's growing a little twig this big. Now let's do the same thing with another quarter of an inch growth ring, or eighth of an inch, whatever I said, on a 30 inch tree. And you took that quarter of an inch and you wrapped it around from that entire 30 inch diameter tree, which is a very large circumference. Well, you might want wind that up and get that much wood. So it's growing a tree equivalent of that size every year. And that's just because as a tree grows, the circumference grows larger. So equivalent 
radial increments and you know the horizontal growth of the tree every ring is going to represent more growth so actually the the growth up here is probably equal to the high growth rings down here this tree is still seeing a substantial benefit from that harvest and i would estimate the total volume of this tree has grown maybe uh 200 percent from what it originally was 15 years ago now of course some of that would have happened without the harvest but the harvest certainly undeniably helped just based on this alone so when the stand was harvested i would say in in my opinion the prescription the silviculture prescription you know which is what we call uh the type of harvest that they made probably could be called an overstory removal they took the larger trees that were overtopping some of the stuff in the understory they removed it uh, and they let enough light to hit that understory so they could then begin growing um, and so in this particular instance the harvest certainly helped the forest it allowed these younger trees to really thrive and and flourish now an overstory removal isn't the only type of harvest that can have this effect you can also have thinning you can do selection cuts there are, are even a clear cut if you intend to plant afterwards um, even if you don't sometimes depending on the circumstances can very much benefit the stand lead to increased growth and just a better forest overall now that's not going to be the case with every timber harvest just because you're harvesting timber does not mean the forest is going to benefit it has to be strategic so i really wanted to share that with you today if only to open your eyes to some of the power that timber harvesting can have if it's paired with a decent forest management plan and the right mindset um, so i hope you found this cool i hope it opened your eyes i always love using increment bores and looking at tree rings and kind of deciphering the growth of trees and there's a little bit of forensics that you have to do in terms of figuring out the history of the stand i just love it um, so i was happy to make this video and uh, if you found it interesting please like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you think and uh, i will see you next time later